Hey everyone! So, do you get blocked in your business? Do you ever doubt yourself in your business? I do, I do it all the time. But I've got a really cool tip that I'm gonna share with you. It's a technique called EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Lots of people also call it tapping. Now, I am a qualified EFT Master Practitioner, so I'm going to share some of my experience with you as to what works best in business. First of all, I'm going to show you how EFT works. And I'm going to use a treatment called the Heart and Soul Protocol. So it's a really self-loving and really effective treatment. Place your hands in the heart healing position here. So this is where we start off and what we would say is our setup phrase when we're in this position and do some nice deep breathing. For now I'm just going to move around the different points so that you become familiar with them. So from the heart healing position you would move to the top of your head and just gently tap and then to the third eye in the middle of the forehead tapping nice and gently and remembering to take some nice breaths as you go. The beginning of the eyebrow, the outside of the eye, underneath the eye, underneath the nose, the chin point, the collarbone area. Okay, so the, the area that you want to tap, if, if you feel where your collarbone runs down and then you have the dip here, you want to be finding the soft point underneath the collarbone. So like just to the side where it's nice and, nice and soft there. So you can either tap like I do here, like this, you can use the flat of your hand and just tap the whole area. Some people like to tap, like, you know, the Tarzan tap, as I call it, like this. You can choose whatever you want. This is what I do personally. I use all of my fingers and tap in that area there. Okay? So that's the collarbone area. And then we're going to move on to the hand points. So we're going to tap the outsides of all of our uh, fingers and the thumb. So we tap, I usually use three fingers here to just tap at the side, move on to the fingers, one, two, three, four, and then finish off with the karate point. If you're going to karate chop something, it would be that area just here. So I usually use all of my fingers there and just tap gently on the side of the hand, okay? And then you go back to the heart healing position. So that is the treatment. But what I want to do is to really focus on your business. And as this is a goal setting course, I think we should focus on our goals. So hopefully by now you've set yourself your ultimate business goals, your goals for the year, the goals for the month, and your weekly and daily goals. You, hopefully you're doing those things ongoing. But maybe you've set yourself a few goals that you maybe don't believe that you can actually achieve. I do that all of the time. And it scares me and I go into that sort of like panic mode and it's like, who do you think you are to achieve those sort of goals? You know, how do you think you're going to do that? And then I just sort of quieten my mind and I realise that that's just fear talking and I need to deal with that fear. It's fear and doubt. So I want you to join me in this EFT session that is going to focus on goal setting. So I want you to place your hands in the heart healing position. Take a nice deep breath in and out. I 
I set myself some really big goals this month. I set myself some really big goals for the year. And my ultimate goals are amazing. But who am I to think that I can actually achieve them? It scares me. I really want to achieve them. But I don't know whether I really can. Nice deep breath in and out. These goals that I've set for myself, some of them are really big and I'm afraid that I won't achieve them and then I'll feel disappointed and like a failure. Nice deep breath. These goals that I've set, some of them are just huge and I don't know how I'm going to achieve them all or whether I'm actually capable of achieving them all. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. Nice deep breath. These goals that I've set for myself. They're really big. And sometimes I doubt myself. Sometimes I get scared. Sometimes I worry that I'm not good enough. Sometimes I worry that I'm not smart enough to achieve these sorts of goals. And there's still a part of me that thinks I maybe don't deserve to be really successful in my business. There's still a part of me that doubts myself There's still a part of me that remembers all the people that ever doubted me throughout my life. And when I look at my goals sometimes, I just say to myself, I have no idea how I'm going to reach those goals. And they seem too big. And they seem like there's something for, meant for someone else. Then I stop and I think about what I really want for myself, the way that I want to live my life. The way that I want to run my business. I think about everything I've achieved so far in my life and in my business and I've achieved a lot. I know I'm capable of so much. And it's okay to set really big goals because I know I can break them down into smaller goals that are easy for me to do. Goals that are achievable. And when I achieve these goals, I see celebrate. I celebrate every single success. I celebrate every single achievement I make in my business and my life. And I do deserve 
to have all the things that I want for my business and for myself in all areas of my life. I've got the knowledge, I've got the tools that I need, I know that I can ask for help, I know that the law of attraction is always working for me and I'm deliberately attracting the things that I want the people that I want and the opportunities that I want into my business. My goals help me stay on track. My goals let the universe know where I'm heading so that I can receive all that I need to receive in order to achieve my goals. I deserve to achieve my goals because I'm committed to them and I work towards them all the time. Nice deep breath. hands back in the heart healing position and just relax and just see how you feel. Now you'll notice that I sort of changed the statements as I was tapping. You keep your hands in the heart healing position if you like, it's a nice self-loving position. So I talked about the different feelings that you know that I've experienced within my business. Um, so what I recommend that you do now that you have an idea how this works is write down your doubts your fears your negative beliefs connected to your business and just tap through them just talk it out as you tap through the different points always start off at the heart healing position use the points that i've just shown you and finish off at the heart healing position what I want to recommend to you is that you have a drink of water before and after you finish doing any EFT because this just helps keep you hydrated for one which is really good for the body but it, it helps just get the energy flowing even more around the body so just just have the, your water on hand or you know a drink whatever you, whatever um, I have my black current here so um, that's my thing and you know keep yourself nice and hydrated whenever you're doing any EFT so have a go for yourself and let me know how you get on so have fun with EFT and also what I want to say to you is EFT is not just for problems you can start your day with EFT you can simply start by saying I want to have a really successful business day I want to have a really prosperous day. I want today to be really productive. I want more abundance in my life and in my business. I want more joy and happiness in my life and my business. I want more prosperity flowing into my life. I want more success in my business. I want more vibrant energy in my business. I want more positive thinking in my business. I want more love in my business. I like that one because you know what? I love 
working with my clients i love working with all of the people who take my online courses whether it's this one or my loa boot camp i absolutely love working with you all and i like to feel the love within the communities that i am involved with so bringing love into your business is you know it's a really nice thing to do and it's not something that we always associate with business i want more success in my business i want more clarity in my business that's a really good one you know sometimes we don't know exactly what we want and so to, to tap on clarity is really really powerful I want more positive energy in my business I want more gratitude in my business the list is endless you can you can tap the way that I've just tapped different things or you can focus on one thing that you really want to draw into your business you know if you're if you're not having those feelings of um, your business being successful at the moment then you can just start every day with a, a session where you you can probably go around a couple of times just simply saying you know I want to have a really great day today I want more success in my business and I want it now I want more success in my business and I want it now I want more success more success in my business and I want it now even more success more and more success in my business more success in my business and I want it now I want more success in my business and I want it now even more success in my business and I want it now and then just carry on through all the different points until you feel really really successful and a really good point is you know I'm going to stay sat down because I'm making the video but a really good tip when you're doing EFT especially when you're doing that positive EFT like I want more I want more that sort of EFT get up and get moving around you know move your body around and really really go for it you know so I want more success I want so much more success in my business oh, I want m even more success than I've already got in my business more and more success and just move around because you know what the more energy you put into this the more you will get from it so enjoy EFT and let me know how you get on let me know what comes up for you and ask any questions that you have take care bye